Hey houseplant friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about the houseplants that I bought this month and I'm going to be showing you said houseplants. Basically what I've been experimenting with, oh, I just messed up the camera. Hopefully it's not too bad. Basically what I've been experimenting with for the format for my channel lately is not doing so many hauls because they do fine, like they do really good, but it's exhausting and I don't want my video to just be like haul, 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 you know what I mean? So what I've been doing is buying plants and then doing cumulative hauls at the end of the month. I just feel like that's a better way to go about doing it, but... Let me know what your thoughts are. Basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be talking and then I'm gonna show you the plants in an overlay. As you guys know, May is the month when Boise opened into stage two and three. So May 1st, we entered stage two and May 18th, we entered stage three. As of today, it is June 10th and we are in stage four. As of a couple days ago, I believe, if we're not in stage four, it sure feels like it because Everything is open. The bars are open. The restaurants are open. I went downtown the other day for the first time in a while And I just went to one bar and me and my friend obviously the bars are secluded. You can't like sit It's not like normal bars like it's social distancing still me and my friend We sat at an isolated table and we had some drinks and it was so much fun It felt like real life again. You know what I mean? I got a couple different plants in May because it was three months of not buying any plants which is fine like we don't need to buy plants you know what I mean but like you kind of want to <laughs> I went a little crazy uh, the plants that I bought did, were not expensive I've been finding I'm a lot more into common house plants and not plants that need a greenhouse to be happy those kinds of plants just make me happier so I feel like those are the kinds of plants I'm going to be pursuing. Not from now on, but for most of the time. The first plant I bought this month is a Begonia Maculata Whitey-Eye. It is a gorgeous, cute little Begonia Maculata. Albertsons has been having super, super incredible plant sales lately. But there, when I first moved here, there was like no plants except for like orchids. And now it's like you walk into Albertsons and it's basically better than the Lowe's or Home Depot house plant section and they're way less expensive so I don't know I think at this farm that's doing is called sunrise farm all the plants are always in really good condition so I don't know <laughs> anyways I absolutely love that one it's in really good shape it is now my third begonia maculata whitey eye I'm just really loving this plant and it really I seem to be doing really well with it so I've got a couple now the next house plant that I got <laughs> this is gonna blow your minds is this monstera deliciosa and I got it from Lowe's for $19.95. <laughs> Can you believe that? And I know I'm telling you the prices of some of these, but I feel like I just need to let you guys know how inexpensive some of these were. Because when I saw them, I was like, and now that your girl has a Lowe's credit card, it's kind of like, twice as hard to not buy plants from Lowe's. So I may or may not have been going to Lowe's a lot lately, but just kidding. I know, I know you don't put money in your credit card. Like you guys don't need to lecture me on credit cards. I've had them for a while. But anyways, I got that Monstera Deliciosa and it is gorgeous. My big monster actually needs to be repotted soon. So I was thinking about potting up that one and my big one together so that it looks like a nice full plant instead of one massive stem of Monstera Deliciosa. The next house plant I got this month was a staghorn fern and I've been looking for a staghorn for a while that would be good to mount. I really want a mounted staghorn, but every time I see them at Edwards or wherever else, they're always like at least $60 and you girl isn't going to pay $60 for a $5 plant mounted onto a slab of wood because that's stupid. So. I'm going to be mounting the staghorn. I'm gonna do a whole video on it. Hopefully it goes well, and then hopefully I can keep it alive. I've never had a mounted plant before, so I'm a little nervous, but I think everything will go okay. It's literally the perfect staghorn for mounting. Like, the top and the bottom look incredible, plus like that little lily pad in the middle just looks really nice, so. I love it. It's incredible, and it's probably my new favorite staghorn. I now have three staghorn ferns. 
maybe it's four. I don't know. They're like one of my favorite plants right now. They're just incredible. How could you not love a good staghorn fern? The next plant I got this month was a begonia midnight magic, I think. And it might be different. It might be chocolate magic, but basically it is a begonia. It's velvet. It's a rhizomatous begonia, I think, which means it grows in like kind of like a spiral. And then it also has bright red shiny undersides. It's like the best of both worlds. I've been looking for this particular begonia. It was actually one of my very first wishlist houseplants. Back when I very first got into houseplants and watched Jenna Marvel's video, she talked about Logies. I went on the Logies website and they were actually sold out and are still sold out of this type of begonia. It popped up at a succulent day on State Street and I about cried. They had one left, so I copped it. Too good! I love this begonia! <laughs> okay, the next houseplant I got this month is a maiden hair fern. This is a massive maiden hair fern, and normally they have them all over Boise, but they haven't been showing up for a couple of months. So when I saw this one, I just knew that I had to get it because maiden hair ferns are kind of like my favorite thing right now. I have this itty bitty little baby maiden hair, which I've definitely been keeping too moist. So he is uh, losing a couple of leaves right now, but he's also giving me a bunch of new leaves. So like, what do you want? <laughs> I keep my maiden hair right in my window. It gets bright and direct light and very strong humidity. I haven't had to water it yet, but I will probably water it today just because I'm a little terrified. But yeah, it's massive and gorgeous and perfect. And I, it's like the most perfect maiden hair I think I've ever seen. The next houseplant I got this month is an autumn fern. And you guys must be like, oh my gosh, Ashley, what is it with the ferns? I'm telling you guys, like my fern obsession, I made a video about it, I think last December. It's still strong. Maybe it was January, I don't know. The fern obsession is strong, all right? It is strong in the force. And especially the autumn ferns, which I'm looking at right now, and he is so gorgeous. He's given us a couple new, a couple little new fond friends, friend fronds. Friend fronds, fond friend, I don't know. I got an autumn fern from Lowe's. It was incredible. I think I showed you guys in the video. You might've seen me get it. I'm trying to only do house plants that you guys haven't seen me, me get. But I think I definitely showed you that one. Oh well, okay. The next house plant I wanna tell you about is this weird rubber fern that I got. It's not a rubber fern, but like that's what it feels like. So that's what I'm gonna call it. And I got it from Albertsons. It came in a ceramic painted cash pot for like, I think $8.99 for a four inch plant in a ceramic painted pot. It's gorgeous. Any hoosies, basically. I don't know what it's called. I think someone tried to tell me what it was called, but I still haven't gone through my comments on my last video yet, so I have to go see. It's incredible. I don't know what it is, but I love it. It's leaves feel like rubber, and I mean, I'm here for it. Why wouldn't I be here for that? <laughs> Sorry, I keep adjusting my bun. It keeps wanting to spin to the left and be like a mohawk, and I'm not here for that. Okay, the next houseplant I got this month was also from Albertsons, basically because like, Everyone's going out into the world now, so I'm trying to not go out into the world because there's definitely going to be a surge of cases. I don't know, the only place I've really been going is Albertsons to get groceries and then Lowe's when I wanna go somewhere that's like definitely gonna have good plants and is not expensive because your girl doesn't, doesn't have too much money to just spend on plants, but you know what? I saved my darn money and I did my darndest to not buy plants for three months. I'm allowed to buy plants. Basically, I got a bluefoot fern from Albertsons and it is so cute. And it's already doing better than my big bluefoot fern. I think this plant really loves shade. I'm like testing it out because the other one I have kind of in bright and direct light and this one I have in the shade. And so far it's not crisping and I have it directly next to my humidifier, so. I don't know, but so far it's doing pretty good. The next two plants that I got were Peperomia beetle. I know, you guys saw me get one in a Lowe's video, like I think a video ago, or two videos ago, but I went back and I got another one when I went to Lowe's. At the same time I got my Monstera. Just put that bad boy on my Lowe's card and called it good. <laughs> Um, I don't know, I just, I love it. I like it more than I like, I think, string of turtles. I think it's because the leaves have a lot more definition. This plant grows as fast as string of hearts. Very, very, very fast, and that's what I'm here for. I want, I am not into plants right now that require an intense amount of work in order to stay alive. I want plants that will do their own thing. It's like an independent relationship, me and them. 
they live when I it's like a cat I want a plant that's like a cat not a dog dogs are awesome like don't get me wrong but dogs require a lot of work you got to take them outside to pee you got to make sure they're eating three times a day you got to make sure their water bowl is always full because they drink water you have to play with them you have to do so much stuff you have to take them to the park you have to help them know other dogs teach them where to poop <sighs> with cats they already know how to do all that all you have to do is fill up their food bowl, play with them every so often when they get mad at you uh, because you haven't played with them, and then give them water and make sure that they aren't going outside so that they live a long, healthy life. And that's what I do with my plants. <laughs> I water them like once every two weeks, and you know what? If a plant can't handle that kind of lifestyle, it's not the plant for me right now. <laughs> so my rare plants that I have are doing okay. Okay, sorry, this was a tangent. We'll get back on track. Okay, yeah, the two pepperomia beetles, they're incredible. They grow insanely fast, and they do not require hardly any upkeep. I threw them up on my curtain rod, which thank you, Dad, so much for installing into my house. You are the best person in the whole world. My plants are doing so much better now that there's a curtain rod in front of my window. The last couple of plants I got um, are these Hoya cuttings, which I'm just gonna show you right here. I got these from one of my patrons. They sent me some Hoya cuttings. They sent me Crimson Princess, Hoya Crimson Princess, Hoya Wayetii, and they also sent me a Monstera Adansonii. The Monstera Adansonii is over there. They also sent me a little pickle boy, which I stuck into the soil back there and I think that that's it. And then the last plant I got this month, I also got from that person, except I bought it, because they have an Etsy shop. It is this Zebrina. I have this one right here, which is why I'm showing it to you here, instead of an overlay. Um, is If you guys have been watching me for a long time, Alocasia Zebrina is my favorite Alocasia ever, next to Alocasia Silver Dragon, but I honestly probably like this one more, especially if I can ever get a hold of the variegated form someday, like that's kind of my favorite ever. And this Alocasia is pregnant, which is amazing, because we're gonna have an Alocasia baby soon. But anyways, I'm really excited because I love Alocasia Zebrina. I had one that I bought in Salt Lake City a long time ago, but then because I didn't know what mealybugs were, I had no idea what to look out for, and then mealybugs took over a lot of my plants and I had to throw them all away because they lived in a dorm and your girl can't isolate plants in a dorm. So, my Alocasia Zebrina was literally infested. They were living inside of the plant. I feel like Totoro. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my houseplants I got this month. I'm feeling that this is gonna be a little bit of a short hair video, but that's okay because all my videos are always like 30 minutes long. So maybe you guys are like happy that it's short. Do you guys like shorter videos or longer videos more? Please let me know. Anyways, thank you for being such awesome people. And I hope that you have a great day. I do have a Patreon if you wanna join my Patreon. It is patreon.com forward slash playmeashley. $1 members get their name on the end card that you're seeing right now. And $3 and up members get into the Discord. And there are stackable benefits from there. The $20 a month members get a personalized video from me every single month. Month. But uh, yeah, anyways, so if you want to become a patron, all of the information for that is in the description. Yeah, go check out all the stuffs. Anyways. Okay. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> ah, plants. I love plants.